Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to use secrets from Azure Key Vault in Azure Pipelines. So let me tell you one thing here. So Azure Key Vault uh, is a utility which helps teams to securely store and manage sensitive information such as keys, passwords, certificates. And it's a centralized storage which are safeguarded by industry standard algorithms, key lengths and even hardware security modules. This prevents the disclosure of information through source code, a common mistake that many developers make. So there are scenarios wherein many developers leave confidential details such as database connection strings, passwords, private keys, etc. in their source code which when gained by malicious user can result in undesired consequences. So what's covered in this video? We will create a key vault from the Azure portal to save our server password. We will configure permissions to let a service principal read that value. We will retrieve the password in Azure pipeline and pass it on to a subsequent task. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the Azure portal and I'm going to create a service principal. So we need a service principal to deploy an app to an Azure resource from Azure pipelines. Since we are going to retrieve secrets in pipeline, we will need to grant permissions to the service when we create the key vault. A service principal is automatically created by Azure pipeline when you connect to an Azure subscription or when you create a service connection from the project settings page. We can also manually create the service principal from the portal or using Azure CLI. So let me log on to the portal and launch the cloud shell. And let me scroll it up. It will create the storage on its own at the back end and would allow me to run the commands. I'm going to use bash prompt to create my resources. Okay, it is here. I'm going to create az adsp create. Create for our back type would be service principal name. All right. Okay. Okay, then it's going to create it. It will give me a JSON output like this. And let me copy paste it. And I'm going to do this. Okay, I'm going to copy paste this as well. Wonderful. Onto my notes section. All right, now I'm going to create a key vault. So I'm going to minimize it, click on create a resource. In here, I will write key vault. I'm going to create a key vault. And enter the details here, right? I'm going to create a new resource group. Key vault. Test lab. You can give it any name you want to. Going with standard. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to define the access policy because data in key vault are sensitive and business critical. We need to secure access to the key vaults by allowing only authorized applications and users to assess the data from the vault. We need to provide read permissions to the service principal that we will be used for the authenticating in the pipeline. So click on add access policy. Select service 
principal click on add and you will next we will select the permission to be granted we'll only go with the default so it is the service principal name that I will copy here it is select select permissions get list secret permissions and looks good to me add I'm gonna go with the default and I will click on create it will create a keyword and give my service principle the get and list permission onto this under the access policy of this keyword all right and now whenever this key when as soon as this keyword is created I'm gonna create a secret under the key vault so let it complete and then we'll proceed further all right it is done I'm gonna go to resource under secrets I'm gonna generate a secret it will be manual let's name it SQL DB password enter the value you can add it anything content type is optional enable create it has created a secret now I'm gonna be gonna check the Azure pipeline I'm gonna log on to my Azure DevOps portal I'm logging on to my Azure DevOps portal now this is my project the dummy project that I have created you gonna select pipelines you're gonna click on here it'll be a build pipeline it is a build pipeline click on edit you're gonna see the pipeline it is building a maven package here is the task copy the files to the staging folder then it's going to publish the artifact onto the build artifact directory right and now if I manually queue it so save and queue save comment and a comment here test as your pipeline Ubuntu 6.4 master branch save and run is gonna run it it'll create a build package and would place it on the build directory you're gonna see how the pipeline would run click on here and see how it is running okay it's it's gonna complete all the task build maven package It's going to copy files to the staging folder. We're going to publish the artifact. Okay, let it run. I'm going to pause and come back. Okay, it's going to publish the artifact. Here to this container, you can go here as well finalize job agent job here is the artifact you can download it right you can click here you can download the artifact
let's see how it is downloading under this quite a big artifact here it is is your deploy is your policy you can see it later so this is it if I'm gonna go to my pipelines again and now go I have to go to release click on release here under pipelines I have not created any release yet and if you would click on the release or the CD continuous deployment pipeline and you want to edit this definition or the task here you see this and one job has three tasks and it says Azure Key Vault SM coupon so it requires the Azure Key Vault as well so under task notice the release definition so if I show you the go back here here and you click on edit for the release and this under dev stage they have a one job which contains three tasks so this the Azure Key Vault task download secret from an Azure Key Vault. We need to point to the subscription and the Azure Key Vault resource we created earlier. So I have this subscription. I authorize this to use my subscription. It will ask me to log in. Okay. Password sign in. I should log in fine. Authorizing and it will be completed successfully. All right. Now it will list the key vault this is the one that I created I can set the secret field still filter to star to read so it can read all the secrets and if or if I want to only specific one then I would have to provide the name of the secret as a comma separated value so if I go to my portal here I created a secret which the name was equal DB password I can enter this and if there are multiple secrets then I can do comma and then add a different secret so I only I have one then I will say stop okay at runtime Azure pipelines will fetch the latest values of the secrets and set them as task variables which can be consumed in the following task which means the password we stored earlier can be read using the dollar sql db password so if you would see the azure deployment creator update uh, resource group activate action on uh, this and if i select azure uh, subscription action creator update resource group location and here you see this override template parameters so it will pick up the, so when it will uh, deploy the resource using the azure template so we pass this value in the azure deployment where we deploy an arm template so if you notice the override template parameters has a database username as string but the password value is passed as a variable so admin login name is as your user but admin login password is passed as a variable because it will pick up that variable from the Azure template and the value it will fetch from the Azure key vault that we have defined in the Azure key vault task in my release pipeline all right so this will provision the MySQL database defined in the ARM template using the password that we have specified in the key vault we may want to complete the pipeline definition by specifying the subscription and the location for the task so you can repeat the same task for 
the last task in the pipeline is your app service deploy and finally you can save and create a new release to start the deployment so let's say you fill up all these details right let's say you want to deploy it in east us linked artifact location here so you come here as well you mention the details here as well so it's a web app on windows right you save this configuration right you come here you go here now if you click on create release it will be executed or it will be done so if you click on task dev you can add more as well and you can run this as well so this is how you use Azure keyword in your Azure pipelines to fetch it uh, when the job runs, the release job runs through the, or you can override the existing values as well. I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.